In this video, we're looking at how to plug a Focusrite audio interface into any smartphone, iPhone or Android, and have it work, including phantom power. But first, if you're interested in making your own home recordings, which apparently you are, if you're interested in plugging a Focusrite into a smartphone, then I have this free PDF step-by-step -step guide that will walk you through exactly how to record your own song from home on a budget with no studio, and it also includes a step-by-step -step guide on how to film your first music video as well. So you can check that out in the description. And now let's dive into plugging any Focusrite interface into any smartphone and having it work. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 third generation, but this will work for any Focusrite Scarlett audio interface. I'm going to be plugging it into an older iPhone 11 to prove that you don't need the newest smartphone, but this should work for any iPhone or Android device. The key to having this work properly is to have one of these USB dongles. Now, in my case, it's a USB-A to a Lightning dongle. If you have a phone with a USB-C, you'll need a USB-A to USB-C dongle. So whatever the appropriate dongle is. And the reason you need one of these dongles is that in order for this to work, you need the ability to be able to plug both the Focusrite into your phone as well as a charging cord into your phone. And we'll see why in just a moment. So for now, let's take the USB-A output from the Focusrite and plug it into this dongle. And then we'll take the lightning adapter, or in your case, it might be USB-C, and plug it into the phone. And you can see that the Focusrite starts up, lights up, and it's now working, which is great. As soon as I go turn on phantom power, it's going to restart. Turning on the phantom power draws too many apps and the phone's battery can't keep up. And so the Focusrite crashes and it restarts again. So in order to be able to use phantom power, we need to take the charging cord and plug it into our dongle. And now I can turn on 48 volt phantom power and my interface is working. Now that your Focusrite audio interface is working properly with your smartphone, you can head on down and check out my free PDF guide, which will walk you step-by-step -step through how to record your own song at home on a budget with no studio.